Okay, now let's talk about the characteristic of gravitational force or gravitation. Look at this set of bodies. This heavenly body attract each other, these stars attract each other, this dust particle also attract each other, earth attracts a body towards its center, body also attracts the earth towards its center. But what is the reason of the attraction force between all these bodies? The main reason is their mass. If a body has got mass, then it has the power of attraction. And because of this mass, actually these bodies attract each other. That's why one of the great characteristics of gravitational force is mass. Because of the mass of the heavenly body or any bodies of this universe, they attract each other. Now let's talk about second point. This first body attracts second body towards its center. Not only the first body attracts second body. This is not the unidirectional force. But the second one also attracts first one towards its center. In this case also, not only first star attracts second star, second star also attracts first star. In the same way, both the dust particles attract each other. In case of Earth, not only the Earth attracts the body lying on its surface, but the body lying on the surface of the Earth also attracts the Earth towards its center. That's why the second important characteristic of gravitation is mutual force. Mutual force. Actually, the gravitational force between any two bodies is actually mutual force. This is one of the important characteristics of gravitation. Now let's talk about third point. This heavenly body attracts this one. Let's say the force of attraction is 1 crore Newton. 10 to the power 7 Newton. If first one attracts second one with the force of 1 crore Newton, then the second one also attracts with the force of the same 1 crore Newton. Let's say this Earth is attracting this body towards its center with a force 10 Newton. Let's say this body is attracted towards the center of the Earth with a force 10 Newton, then not only the Earth, this body also attracts the Earth towards its center with the same force 10 Newton. And the same is true for stars and also stars and dust particles also. That's why what I mean to say, this mutual force is equal. I mean to say they have equal magnitude, equal forces. Now the fourth characteristic I want to mention here is these two forces are equal they are mutual and they are acting in opposite direction. In what direction first one attracts second one? Just in the opposite direction, second one attracts the first one. That's why these two forces or the gravitational forces between two heavenly body or any two bodies of this universe is equal and opposite in direction. Looking at all these characteristics, now we are able to define gravitation correctly. Now looking at all these points, we can define gravitation like this. What is gravitation? The mutual force of attraction between any two bodies of the universe due to their mass is called gravitation. Look at these points. This is mutual force and this is, this is true for any object of this universe and this mutual force produces due to the mass of the body and they act in opposite direction. The mutual force of attraction between any two bodies of the universe due to their mass is called gravitation.